The United States has nominated its new ambassador to India. The mayor of LA, Eric Garcetti, will soon be moving into the sprawling Roosevelt House in New Delhi and take command of the American embassy. On Tuesday, speaking before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, in his confirmation hearing, Garcetti made a lot of points. He underlined the importance of India-US ties, the challenges India faces, and what Garcetti said, a tough neighborhood. More than that, the issues he will bring up once he formally assumes charge on the top of Garcetti's agenda is human rights. I've confirmed I will work closely with India on a similarly bold approach to promoting green energy through the International Solar Alliance and through the Agenda 2030 Climate and Clean Energy Partnership. But my friends, in the end, the bedrock of our relationship are the warm and deep ties between our peoples. They connect our nations and it's embodied best perhaps by the four million strong Indian American diaspora I know in each of your states. It strengthens our nation. It serves at the highest level, including our vice president and the nearly 200,000 Indian students and tens of thousands of Indian professionals contribute every single day to the strength of this country. And in addition, respect for human rights and strong democratic institutions are key elements of our relationship and values that are enshrined in both of our constitutions. And if confirmed, I will engage regularly and respectfully with the Indian government on these issues. Historically speaking, U.S.'s ties with India have been about dialogue, strengthening partnership. American envoys have rarely sought to middle in New Delhi's domestic affairs. But it seems like Biden's close confidant, his man of choice, will not be treading the tried and tested waters. Garcetti's statements on human rights have no doubt made headlines across India and the United States. He is known to make news in the past as well, and very often not for the right reasons. Eric Garcetti does not have the cleanest image back home. He currently serves as the mayor of L.A., a position L.A. residents say he has failed to live up to. In August this year, people in L.A. vandalized Garcetti's residence, smeared it with gra graffiti and placards for turning homeless people into criminals. Garcetti had passed an anti-camping ordinance which prohibited those without a home from sleeping on public properties. He ordered them to shift to shelters, only that there aren't enough shelters in the city. Angelino say this is all Garcetti's fault. They point at the numbers. Eric Garcetti was elected mayor in 2013. The number of homeless people in LA that time, at the time, stood at 23,000. In 2017, Garcetti was re-elected as the mayor. The number of homeless people had risen to 34,000. In 2020, when Joe Biden came to power, the number of homeless people stood at 41,000 as of August 2021. When he was picked as U.S. envoy to India, the figure stands at a whopping 66,000. Now, Garcetti also has been swept up in endless headlines for sexual harassment allegations against a former top advisor, raising concerns that he oversaw an office culture that silenced victims. In 2020, Washington Post reported that L.A. police officer had filed a lawsuit against this city, saying that Garcetti's former top aide, Rick Jacobs, harassed him and Garcetti did not stop that behavior. Garcetti has denied seeing any inappropriate behavior and publicly stood by his longtime advisor. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.